Hey everyone, I am making another video today, which I really didn't plan on doing. I have a lot to do today, but I just came across some information that Crypto007, if you are not subscribed to his channel, like he has all the latest information. He sends me the latest information and he's um, sent me this article that I absolutely had to talk about. It is a follow-up to my short that I did on the babies being hospitalized for being on an alkaline diet formula. These babies ended up in the hospital, three different states, three different babies, all ending up in hospital within a similar time period. So in this article entitled, Babies Fed Homemade Alkaline Diet Formula Hospitalized with Ricketts Brain Damage. It says here, the infants had been fed a nutritionally deficient homemade formula based on alkaline diet recipes with resultant severe hypocalcemia, hypo meaning not enough, and vitamin D deficient rickets. Homemade infant formulas and vegan diets, their quote from the CDC, I believe, might be deficient in essential vitamins and nutrients as has been reported for other formulas. I'm not quite sure what these other formulas they're talking about R, but that's the exact quote. So the incidents occurred between August 2020 and February 2021 in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware. The first nine month old boy had a protruding forehead. This is a sign of rickets. It's in my deficiency symptoms short as well. Inability to sit without help and delays in his gross and fine motor skills. The infant was diagnosed with rickets and iodine deficiency after being fed a homemade formula made from coconut milk, dates, and sea moss. Everyone thinks sea moss has everything you need in it. No, it doesn't. After leaving the hospital, the infant was admitted to a long-term care facility. Another five-month-old boy was diagnosed with rickets. His parents reported that when the boy was three months old, they were feeding him a homemade formula made of coconut water, coconut water, hemp seed hearts, dates, sea moss gel, and alkaline water. He received high dose intravenous calcium and magnesium and was discharged home after being placed on a diet of commercial infant formula. Three days later, a four month old boy was hospitalized with respiratory distress. He was unresponsive. He also was diagnosed with rickets. The CDC said the parents reported he had been fed a formula of sea moss, an intended iodine source, hemp seeds and coconut water for approximately one month. So the CDC says that this formula, these recipes for the alkaline diet formula generally lack such vitamins as D, calcium, and iodine. There's another article highlighting these same cases entitled homemade vegan baby formula puts babies in the hospital what parents need to know. And this article really upsets me because it says down here, it's not the vegan part of the formula that's unsafe, but the homemade aspect of it, she added. Okay, let's get something straight. Homemade formulas, no matter how like well formulated, you may not know. You're not an expert in what a baby needs. You are not gonna know what your baby needs. You should definitely leave it to experts, but the vegan aspect of the formula is definitely the problem. <laughs> like. How can it not be? A, a milk from another animal is gonna be much closer to breast milk than coconut water and sea moss. Like, duh. And then this article goes on to defend vegan diets, saying that well-planned vegan diets are fine or whatever. Here's the thing, parents. A vegan diet is a hydroponic diet. You're raising your child on synthetic or maybe naturally derived, but isolated nutrients. You're trying to mimic a well-balanced diet that includes animal foods. That's what you're doing. And the vegan parents who don't come to this realization that that's what you need to do on a vegan diet, their kids suffer more than the kids that are at least fed all the vitamins and minerals in the synthetic or powders or whatever form necessary. If you absolutely insist on feeding your child this hydroponic diet, then, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. There's no laws that say you can't at the moment, at least where we live. And it seems as though a lot of these health associations are on board with this for some reason. But 
If that is your choice, then please go with the formula that has been made by scientists. Do not try to make your own formula. Like that is ridiculous. I'm not a big proponent of making your own formula in the first place. Obviously breast milk is best. And if you need to supplement or even replace breast milk, definitely going with something that has been made by people who know what they're doing is better. But saying that the vegan part of the formula is not the problem is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It is absolutely the part of the problem. Cow's milk and goat's milk are going to be deficient in certain nutrients, absolutely. As is breast milk sometimes, depending on the mother. But they are going to be much more closely related to breast milk. And baby formula, besides the advent of soy formula, has always included cow's milk or some kind of animal milk in it. Because, yeah, you're going to get a better shot at feeding your baby properly if it's made from an animal milk. This is just so ridiculous. And babies ending up in the hospital because these parents think that they can feed their kids this vegan formula that they made up. So luckily, both the CDC and the FDA have issued warnings now against feeding babies these alkaline baby formulas. And as much as I don't think that we should be making our own formulas, I don't think parents know what they're doing. And so I'm fine with them issuing this blanket statement that you shouldn't be making your own formula. Lumping them together is very misleading. And it's the fact that the formula is vegan that it's causing these huge issues. A formula from an animal milk is going to have a lot more of these vitamins and minerals and necessary components for a baby but that's fine like lump them together that's fine it's protecting everyone just in case someone decides to make an animal-based formula and messes it up too it's definitely not a good idea but hello <laughs> hello can we at least have some common sense when talking about this babies are not vegan babies that need to be raised vegan, need to be raised hydroponically with proper nutrition, okay? That's my new word today, hydroponic babies. It's just so sad. Anyway, that's it for me. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>